In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite route combinations in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're brand new to the channel and you don't know what I do here on YouTube, I do Madden 21 tips and tricks and basically post them on YouTube every single day in order to help people get better at Madden. Now today's video is going to be very, very simple and straight to the point here. I wanted to dive into um, a route combination I can't stop thinking about. To be honest with you, I was up all night thinking about this and I know it's not going to be the greatest thing in the world, but just dive into it with me and hang with me here. Now, uh, really quickly before we dive too far into this, um, I want to let you know that I really a full ebook on the bunch tight end offense and i think it's the best offense in the entire game literally it is the spot me please rip would be so proud of this offense this offense is amazing it is the best best offense this year and i 100 percent guarantee you that so we're going to dive right in here and i want to show you a route combination that i couldn't stop thinking about and it's basically this now a lot of people know that pa cross is one of the best plays from the bunch tight end but what a lot of people don't know is how to make it even better or maybe some different setups that you could do in variety um, to allow you to do some things differently. So first thing, here's the setup. All we're going to do is we're going to take the tight end and put him on a post route. Now, if you want to get the full ebook, that link is in the description. Okay, so pot, put the tight end on a post route. Now, you do need Hot Route Master. Most of you have Hot Route Master to do it or tight end apprentice, which you can get that pretty easily. So we're going to smart route Antonio Brown. We're going to take Fournette and put him on a flat route. And then all we're going to do is we're going to take Chris Godwin. We're going to put him on a on a uh, hitch or a flat. Um, and then we're going to take Mike Evans and put him on a slant. That's it. That's literally the route combination. The last step is to, if you want to, you can motion out um, what, what you could motion out different players. So for example, you could take this slant and you could motion it to the left and snap the ball so that it gets unbumpable. And you'll see that this thing is absolutely incredible. It's incredible against zone. It's incredible against man coverage. And I uh, just wanted to go through all the progressions here with you really quickly. So against man coverage, and this is one of the most popular defenses that people in the community are playing right now. The reason this is so good against man coverage is because Mike Evans is typically not going to get pressed. I mean, he's going to get a free release. And as you can see, he's able to get outside and really work the ball up and down the field. The next thing, and the, the next thing that I really like about this as far as man coverage goes is when you smart route these skinny post routes, they are really, really good against man-to-man -man coverage. So let me show you that really quickly here. This is a smart routed post route to Antonio Brown. As long as they have 90 deep route running or higher, that route is going to typically be very, very effective for you at beating the man-to-man -man coverage. And the next route that I wanted to talk to you about is the tight end post route. The tight end post route is one of the staples this year. It's one of the best routes in Madden 21 right so far. Um, it just does a really, really good job of getting open. It doesn't really even need route running. You see there, Rob Gronkowski is able to absolutely just torch uh, Will Redmond in man-to-man -man coverage. So those are several really, really good routes that you can use against man-to-man -man coverage. The beauty is this is a play that you doesn't only beat man, but it also beats zone coverage. Now, Little Fournette's not always going to get open, but... The beauty of this is, let's say that they're running some hard flats on you, right? Because a lot of people will do that. A lot of people run hard flats because they want to basically take away the quick flat throws to the running back and things like that. Well, you run a setup like this, and what you'll notice here is this tight end gets wide open late in this play. So if they're running some Mabel coverage or something like that, you're going to have an answer. The other thing that I really like about this is the slant route does the same basic thing on the backside that the post route does. Um, the slant route is often going to get open against man-to-man -man coverage, especially if and if, and if if they run cover two, you can split the seams up the top with Antonio Brown. But if you take a look here at the slant, you'll see wide open against cover three. Doesn't matter if it's Mabel or hard flat coverage. It really doesn't matter. That slant will always be open because the flat route to the running back will basically pull the zones out of the way. And then the last route that I want to talk about is the skinny post route. Now, this is primarily reserved for um, different types of cover two defenses or things like that where the middle um, busts the coverage up the middle of the seam. But as you can see there, you can hit that over the top. One of the other last things that I, what I will talk about briefly is when you smart route this, you, we do need to be back off a, a little bit more here, but when you smart route this route to Antonio Brown over the top um, and you run it just like this right here, what you'll notice is against some type of Tampa 2 or you know different just different defenses like that, this skinny post route is going to have a pretty good chance um, at getting open late, late, late in the play. Um, it doesn't do as good against cover two, but it, it can get open late in the play. So just kind of keep monitor of that. Um, but this is one of my favorite routes in the game, or favorite route combinations in the game. And the reason why is because it is so effective against man-to-man -man coverage. You're going to force the user to have to go one way or the other. And if they don't pick right, you're going to be successful as an offensive player. So this is one quick setup. Make sure to pick up the ebook. That link is in the description. Thanks for watching this video. Won't take up any more of your time. Just wanted to share this with you. How to get this off my chest. Been thinking about 
about it all day. Great route combination from the bunch tight end. And if you want to get the full scheme, that link's in the description. If you have any questions, you can always text me. My number is also in the description. Thanks for watching. And just a quick reminder, the ebook link is in the description of this video.